Okay, we're going to try an example of balancing redox reactions under acidic conditions. So this reaction, this is what you would be given. Uh, SO3 2 minus plus MnO4 minus forms SO4 2 minus and Mn2 plus. Unfortunately, balancing redox reactions is not quite as straightforward as just balancing regular reactions. The first thing we're going to do is split it into the two half reactions, the, redo or the reduction re half reaction and the oxidation half reaction. I will tell you that for this part of the process, you don't actually need to know which one's oxidation and which one's reduction, as long as you know to split them. So the two sulfur compounds are one half reaction. I'm going to recommend you write it in the middle of the page. Okay. And then the other half reaction is um, MnO4 minus forming Mn2 plus. You'll notice we don't even have oxygens on this side. That's okay. We'll figure that out. So I'm gonna switch colors here. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is make sure all the non-hydrogens and oxygen atoms are balanced first. So we have one sulfur here. We're just doing this top one first. One sulfur here, one sulfur here. So that's good. With redox reactions under acidic conditions, you can add water or H plus anywhere you need to along the way. So we have three oxygens here and four oxygens here, so we are going to need to add a water to this side to increase. This is our only source of oxygens that we have. So now we have four oxygens on this side, four oxygens on this side. Unfortunately, we've added a bunch of hydrogens. So now we have to add two hydrogens over here. At this point, our atoms should be balanced. One sulfur, one sulfur, four oxygens, four oxygens, two hydrogens, two hydrogens. The last part of this is to make the charges balance out. Okay, so on this side, we have an overall, this is zero, this is minus two, this is overall minus two. And over here, we have minus two and plus two, so this is zero. We need the charges to balance, which means we're going to add electrons to whichever side is more positive until they're the same. The sides don't have to come out to be zero, they just have to be the same. So since this is negative two and this is zero, we're going to add two electrons to that side. So that now, if you include this, this comes out to negative two. So our atoms are balanced and our charges are balanced. So that's one half reaction that is taken care of. Now we're going to do the other one. We have one Mn, one Mn, so that's encouraging. Four oxygens, zero oxygens. So we can add waters or H pluses anywhere we want. Water is our only source of oxygen, so we're gonna add that. This has now introduced eight hydrogens on that side, so we have to add eight H pluses over here. Okay. So one manganese, one manganese, four oxygens, four oxygens, eight hydrogens, eight hydrogens. Atoms are balanced. Charges. This side is plus two. This side is eight, because eight times plus one, eight minus one is plus seven. We again do not need them to be zero, we just need them to be the same. So since this is five more than that, we're gonna add five electrons to that side. Okay, now for the fun bit. To combine these reactions, we need the electrons to cancel out. So we need to find the least common multiple between two and five which unfortunately is 10. So in order to get the electrons to cancel out, we're gonna have to take the entire top reaction times five and the entire bottom reaction times two, because that'll give us 10 electrons, and I kinda of crossed it out, but 10 electrons here. Which means our electrons will cancel when we add this. We have 10 electrons on the left and 10 electrons on the right. Now what we're gonna do is write down all of the reactants scaled up by these numbers on one side and all the products scaled up on the other side and cancel out what we can. So five waters from this reaction, because everything's times five, plus five times SO3 two minus. Then we're also doing this reaction. Everything's been doubled, so that's two times eight would be 16 H pluses, plus two times MnO4 minus. All of this together is our reactants. I don't have room to write the product, so I'm just gonna write it underneath. Now we do the same thing for our products. Five times all of this, we're ignoring the electrons. So five SO4 two minus, plus five times two would be 10 H pluses. And then down here, two times Mn two plus. Please be really careful and diligent about writing your charges. 
2 times 4 would be 8 waters. Okay, now we're going to cross out anything that we can, anything that's the same on both sides. We have 5 waters here and 8 waters here, so these will all be gone, and this will now be 3. We removed 5 from both sides. This, we have 16 H pluses and 10 H pluses here. This will all cancel out, and this will become 6. I'm going to rewrite everything just to make it look clean, but we should be done. So 5 SO3 2 minuses plus 6 H pluses plus 2 MnO4 minus forms 5 SO4 2 minuses plus 2 Mn2 plus plus 3 waters. Hopefully this is balanced. Let's double check it. We have 5 sulfurs, 5 sulfurs. Um, oxygens. I guess we have 15 plus 8. Is that 23? Um, here we have 20 plus 3 would be 23, so we're good. Uh, hydrogens. We have 6 here, 6 here, 2 manganese, 2 manganese. Charges. This is 5 times 2 is negative 10 plus 6 would be negative 4 plus another negative 2 would be negative 6. So we expect this side to add up to negative 6. This is 5 times 2 is negative 10, plus 4 would also be negative 6. So technically, the charges, the atoms, everything has balanced out. And it's under acidic conditions, so we can have hydrogens and water anywhere in this reaction that we need to, which we added to make the charges all balance out.